Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Events Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A little bit on the casual side this morning because of the fact that we had a bit of a power failure overnight, and so our air conditioning system is still in the reset mode, which means it's not quite up and working as of right now. Got the fan club going for this morning, trying to keep the air moving across the studio back here, yard area, and trying to help keep things at least a little bit cooler in the parts of the studio right now. Not really looking anything really huge, but the temperature is rising. Notice again, we have a temperature of about 83 degrees in the studio as of about 7.30 this morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. So just a little bit on the toasty side out there, but not doing too bad, at least compared to what we're going to be seeing throughout the area later on today. Forecast on the red line at the bottom of your screen. And again, numbers rather on the hot side out there with winds out of the south doing little of anything to cool anybody off. So a cool shady place would be a very good idea but we'll get out there for today. If you have to do any yard work, take it in little bits, if at all possible, because we're talking about some pretty steamy weather for today and into the rest of the 4th of July holiday. Speaking of which, hopefully you're having a great holiday weekend. Make it a safe one. Keep water on hand. Again, do not relight dud fireworks. If you have combat veterans that live in and around your area, please make certain that you honor their wishes to have a quieter celebration out across the area. Heading out the door, again, hot coffee this morning. Not probably the best idea. Our tongue and cheek cough temp decks coffee temperature recommendation index based on what the weather's going to be like out there. Probably want to go for something a little bit more icy out there. From the home of the king of rock and roll, Graceland at Memphis, Tennessee, around Elvis Presley Boulevard. Lots of sunshine this morning and more information and also events going on at Graceland, including the upcoming King's celebration that will be in about August or so, and that again will be seen on these cameras. Ole Miss at the campus of the University of Mississippi looks like a little bit of work or maybe some exercise going on at the track and field cam early Sunday morning as people start to make their laps in and around the area there. Down to Olive Branch, Mayor Sam Reichard, former Mayor Sam Reichard of Olive Branch from the backyard of City Hall. Shows drifting on through. Germantown, ex-Airbus driver's webcam from a very nice backyard. Wish my backyard looked that way. I've always wanted to have a backyard that looks that way with a bit of a pond and some lilies and a nice little shady spot to sit and contemplate things out there. So thanks very much for putting that up on the Weather Ground Net under Weather Ground underground network. Burn bans in effect, not that much to talk about. Fire danger is very low and no burn bans are in effect, but once again, remember to check with your community to see if you can light off fireworks. It is illegal in a good portion of Memphis and Shelby County, so let's be very careful out there with that. No earthquakes to report in the Mid-South within the last 24 hours around or close to the New Madrid fault line, so definitely good news there. Almanac, yesterday's high, 96 degrees. 91 is where we should be for this time of the year. Record high today, 100 last setback in 1970. A dry start to July. We have not picked up any rainfall at this time, so we are behind for over a quarter of an inch when it comes to rainfall. Still ahead for the year thanks to that burst of rain we got back in February and March, so eight inches plus in the rain gauge there. The moon is almost new, waning crescent about 1.4 percent of full, heading toward new moon into tomorrow. Sunrise about the same time as the sun at 6 10 a.m. and sunset, moonset area about the same time at 8 27 p.m. Likewise, sunrise and sunset data about the same for today with 14 hours and 27 minutes of daylight for Sunday and Monday. Kids heading out to man the lemonade stand, trying to make some money or just trying to get some experience doing some capitalism work out there. It's going to be hot. Temperatures back in the lower 100, so make certain the kids are getting the ice water and some of the lemonade as well. May have to drink some of the product that they serve to make certain they stay cool because temperatures by the peak heating time of the day will be in the mid-90s and heat index temperatures easily back into the triple digits. Over the course of the day today, chances of showers and thunderstorms isolated across much of the area, but into later on tonight, past about News Channel 3 at 5, after a bit of a lull, into tomorrow morning, chances of showers and thunderstorms will return to the area and could be some strong, possibly some isolated severe weather across parts of the Mid-South, especially as we go into mid-morning and early in the afternoon on Monday. Some of those thunderstorms could stick around and regenerate as we get into around fireworks time Monday evening. Hopefully nothing to worry about in the way of any postponements, but we will be keeping our eyes 
on that situation as we go into the rest of the day. Isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms, hot and humid today. Lower 90s, more chances of showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow for Independence Day, including, unfortunately, around fireworks time, and more chances of showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday early, diminishing to 20% by Wednesday and heading into the mid to upper 90s with more chances of sunshine than showers and thunderstorms. Still possible here and there, but otherwise looking at numbers back in the high 90s by the time we finish up Saturday and Sunday and head into the rest of the forecast. Today's possibility of a threat of severe weather in the marginal green shaded category into Dyersburg, Blytheville, and northwestern parts of Craighead County around Jonesboro, that, or, or pardon me, around the area uh, in and around yeah, Craighead County for Jonesboro, in and around northeastern parts of Arkansas late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Marginal threat here, more pronounced slight risk well to our north in Missouri, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, and back toward Kansas and Oklahoma. Not a necessarily a major threat for us. Either way, for the forecast on the 4th, it is going to be looking at the possibility of some stronger weather out there, and isolated showers and thunderstorms cannot be ruled out at just about any point in time during the day and into evening. So if you have outdoor plans, please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that. Weather where the troops are, triple digits across much of the area into Iraq, including some numbers back around 112 around Najaf and down toward Basra in the area around the Persian Gulf and the Arabian also again in the triple digits pretty easily here. It's bad but still pretty hot across parts of Afghanistan. Temperatures in the triple digits across the southwestern part of the country, Kabul and Faizabad back in the lower 90s there. Korean Peninsula not doing too bad. A few areas of showers around Kunsan and Taegu and a thunderstorm around the Kusan area. Area, but otherwise Chunchan and Seoul temperatures in the 70s with mostly cloudy skies. Social media, thanks to Kelvin Gage for the double rainbow picture earlier this week at Hacks Cross and Winchester. Savcap123, a cotton candy sky from earlier. And thanking Deborah J54 for sending in her great sunrise shots out across the Mid-South around the Humboldt, Tennessee area. Got any pictures you'd like to share with us? Aonic underscore WREG3 and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 Daybreak when we have time. And also don't forget about the forecast available through the weekend on the East Arkansas saw Broadcasters Network, Country 92.5, and Oldies 102.3. Hot conditions continue in the Mid-South over the course of the next couple of days, so keep it tuned for more on that. Thank you, Mr. Michael Gates, our production, production department extraordinaire and very musically talented gentleman for getting me the very nice coffee mug uh, selection for the area or something I can use to uh, keep things very nice and dry on there. But, of course, with temperatures like this in the studio, it's going to be kind of hard for the hot coffee to be handled out across uh, the studio for right now. Hopefully the air conditioning gets up and going, and we'll keep you updated on both the air conditioning updates and the rest of the forecast tonight on News Channel 3. Join us after golf at 5 o'clock at News Channel 3 at 10, and of course we'll have updates at wrhg.com at slash weather as well throughout the rest of the day. Hot and humid, the watchword. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 on air and online through the rest of the holiday weekend.